Let's go back in time and see how we evolved. Meet our first ancestor, Plesiodapus, which lived about 60 million years ago in North America and Europe. It's one of the oldest known primate-like mammals and starts the next branch of the evolutionary tree leading to us, Homo sapiens. It took another 56 million years to produce the first hominins. Around four and a half million years ago, Australopithecus emerged in Africa. These hominins were bipedal, which means they started walking on two legs. Then it took another two and a half million years until we saw the first of our own genus, Homo. The oldest member of this genus, Homo habilis, lived for 700,000 years, between 2.3 and 1.6 million years ago. It was the first species that started to make simple stone tools. From there, we see the evolution of Homo erectus, Homo heidelbergensis, and finally, only 200,000 years ago, Homo sapiens. Nowadays, we have large brains, but we didn't always have these. Before we had large brains, we only had the reptilian and the mammalian brain. We could not make plans or think about the effects of our actions and thoughts. Our earlier behavior was much more primitive, instinctive, and intuitive. Our neocortex brain made it possible to plan, think of the future, remember, use a broader tool set, and more advanced hunting techniques, but also to worry, experience stress, and be conditioned by certain circumstances and other people. Our brain has become much more complex, which makes us better at survival, but also burdens us with new mental challenges. Our increased ability for survival is reflected in the growth of our population. In 1750, there were 791 million of us. In 2020, global population is estimated at 7.6 billion. And the prediction is that there will be around 11 billion of us around 2100. Our ancestor, Australopithecus, walked the earth for two and a half million years and lived a full active life. We, Homo sapiens, arrived only 200,000 years ago. And over the last 50 years, we've turned into a sitting and overeating species. Will we be able to survive for the same length of time as our ancestors if we keep up with our current lifestyle?